Hello, this is Craig Shoemaker, New Media Evangelist for Infragistics. And before we get started, there's just a few things I'd like to share with you. If you have any questions about this screencast, please feel free to email me at cshoemaker at infragistics.com. If you have any support questions, please go to infragistics.com slash get help. And if you'd like to check out the documentation on any one of our controls, please go over to infragistics.com slash docs. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started. Hi there, in this video I'd like to show you how you can customize the headers and the footers using a web data grid. To kick us off, uh, I've got this ASP.NET page and we've got a script manager on the page, we've got the web data grid itself, and the SQL data source. A couple customizations I'd like to make. First of all, let's go into the SQL data source and just select the top 10. That way, as uh, the data that's coming back, we won't it'll show up on, on one page and we can see the footers easily. The next thing I'd like to do is go over to the web data grid itself and let's enable the footers. So if we come down here, we have show footer and show header. Show header is set to true. We'll say show footer is set to true as well. Now the next thing we'll do is we can come over and uh, go to our smart tag and then go to the edit columns. From there, let's just look at product name. And you'll see over here in this area, we have a footer and a header area. Now from this place, um, there's, there's not as many options because what will happen is the template ID will really open things up and allow you to have full customization over what shows up in those headers and footers. For right now, within the footer, I'll just add some text and we'll just call this name, product name. And for the template ID, I'll show you how you can, can use the templates here. For this, we'll call this product name header. So if I hit apply and then OK, uh, we get a little error here saying that it can't render it cor correctly and that's because the, the template that we created, product name header, doesn't exist. So if we come into edit template collection and add a new item and then we call it product name header, now when we click OK, everything will show up correctly. Now let's take a look at the markup and see what it created for us. So if we... Um, come to the product name, you'll see that we have a footer and the text equals product name. And then we have a header, text is product named. That'll be ignored because it's going to pick up what's found in the template ID. If we come down to the template area, we'll see that we have the product name header and uh, we've got the template. So all we have to do is come in here and uh, customize what shows up in the template. So we'll just say header from template. Now what's nice about this is you can see that there's you can add any type of control that you want in there. It's fully open for you to put any type of hooks that you need for CSS or any other sort of controls that you want. For now let's go ahead and run it and see what it looks like. And here we have our product name footer and then our header from template. Now just to, just to push this a little bit more just so you can see that you really do have full capability to do anything, what I'd like to do is come in and create a user control. And we'll call this a column header. Now there's a, a lot you can do again, it's just a regular user control. You can do anything you want with it. So the value of this is that you could create user controls for your headers and footers and keep all the logic in one place. For now what we'll do is we'll just say header um, from UC, user control. And what I'll do is I'll come into our source here and we'll create a property called text. So a public string. And now that we have this text property, we can come back over in here and uh, use that. Okay. So it'll say header product name from user control. So if we come back over to our web page and drag on the user control, now what we can do is take the markup for the user control and use it within the template for our header. And this will work for the header and the footer, it doesn't matter, I'm just showing you how to do it for the header. So I can use this user control here and then pass in a value for text, and this could be product name. And so when we run it, 
header product name from user control. So this gives you full capability to do whatever you need within your headers and footers. So I hope you have a lot of fun customizing your grids. Thanks a lot. Infragistics. On the web at infragistics.com.